thank God for another blessed day. Hello guys and welcome back for more exciting and thrill, uh, thrilling adventure here in Elden Ring. So we've uh, still here back starting off where we left off from the um, this area here. So for the Forbidden Lands we are making our way all the way now in this area uh, the grand lift of Rawl and we'll continue on through interacting with the areas making our way over to the uh, mountain top catacombs and hitting a number of areas in those places some NPC uh, interaction and different things but right now we're gonna um, get ready to take on a boss so moving along here we can summon in uh, Melissa right here on the ground you can see her here um, you can summon her if you want uh, I wouldn't recommend summoning if you have good spirit summons already that are level up and if your character is quite level you because summoning bringing in a friend or uh, calling in NPCs will increase the boss's health by at least 10% or more so with that I'm gonna call in my mimic right here for this battle and um, yeah so all I need to do now is get ready for this fight take on a put some lightning on in here Okay, let's do it. Yeah, yes. Woohoo. There we go. Boom! Give him a headache here. All right, and he's out. That's how we do it, Mimic. Ah, so we got the uh, gargoyle's black blades and the gargoyle black axe. make our way along here and what we will get to here is a grace and after the grace we should have a cutscene coming up on the uh, medallion that you pick up we've been collecting throughout Elden Ring in different regions take a rest like the meat in there and this is the ground lift guys so we step right into this part into the circle interact hoist medallion
All right, so we got a transition there. And the next time we would have, uh, you would get this, would be the secret medallion, which will give you a prompt to use the secret medallion. Okay. And there should be an item right here. You can pick up that up. Beast blood. And coming up, guys, is a NPC Sh Shabriri. Right after the grace. Mountain tops of the giants. And there should be a grace here and a map as well. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Right there. So maps right in this area. And a grace should be nearby. We can activate. That's it right there. And there's our character over there. And now we can fight this guy and take his armor. Um, I don't usually um, kill the NPCs, but this one, there are certain ones you have to kill. And this one, well, we don't have to kill him, but I'm going to take him out. Um, he's going to tell you about the... Uh, Frenzy Three Fingers and how to get there and the uh, becoming the Frenzy Lord or Lord of Chaos and after becoming doing that um, ending one of the Elden Ring ending there you can come here and his armor will be right here you can pick it up but you can take him out now and get it yeah, what he has to say. Who would be Lord? Oh my. Why I fear that you well, as for his flesh. I hope you can So he says Seabree. So we'll just take him out here. Now he has some frenzy attack here. We're gonna get him rally up. Now he's fighting. <laughs> now he can use frenzy here. All right, and you can now collect his items here, the iron cancers, and, and all of his armor and everything right there. Uh, go back to the grace. Now we have another tough enemy coming up and this is not an, a boss but these guys are really tough and deadly it says the Zoma Knights and I think I'm gonna take him down but there will be a, quite a few of them in here so I won't be fighting every one of them these guys hit hard I even can call in my mimic but I should be fine. We're about to find out anyways. Oh, it's over now, man. Got 5,000 rune drop from those guys. Got transparent bird going on here. Uh, 
now we make our way in this direction and the goal here right now is to get a item important item go this way the uh, belt baron go here and then we can pick up a magic sorcery uh, item here go this way and in this entrance right here we can get a special item and there it is the smitting stone menace belt baron 3 and that allows you to get uh, 5 and 6 tear stones unlimited um, you know you have to purchase them but you don't have to um, go around uh, trying to find one or two of them throughout the games oh this guy he's waiting for me here should be another item here somewhere is that pretty or what all right so oh yes right here guarded by the bird I'll take your flesh meat yeah he doesn't like that Stormhawk and our direction easy to get turned around in this place Yeah, I think next we want to go this way. There should be a shiny up in a tree somewhere here. You can hear it. There it is. We need to get that guy. I can use a knife. Throw a knife. Knock him down and take him out. Before he gets away. And we got it. Moving along in this direction. Collect some butterflies. Go up here. Then basically to the edge of the cliff and leads you to this item and then right here upon this white sand bank here making our way down and 
We got some enemies here to take on, but before we do... What I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and get access to the grace into this cat into this catacomb right here got eye frame so I can't get hit there giant mountain top catacombs what are you doing in here Okay. We'll go back out and take these guys on. And then we'll make our way into the catacombs. Now we got a fire uh, prelate in here. These guys are deadly. So I'm going to try to take out as much enemies, the weaker guys, as much as I can here, before I take on the prelate. Those guys got a uh, whoa, he's already on me here. Let's move away a little bit here. Oh, man. Got him down. There we go. And now that he is down, make our way into the catacombs here. Rest up a bit. And we should be good to go. Now we got a lot of imps waiting around in here. Actually, these catacombs, these areas are all tricky, quite difficult to navigate. There we go. With the great shields, you can get your uh, enemies attacked to bounce off the shield, which allow you to have a strong counter attack come back with the sword. Take a left in here. Should have some more enemies waiting here.
think that's it. Go in this way. And we use this lift down. At the end, we can use this uh, all the way to the bottom and use it as an access to get to the last area. And a shortcut area as well, so. So that's the boss area in there. We need to get to that lever. this way and another elevator here and we got these pots we we'll break them up There should be a big pot in here somewhere. I think we can hear him right now moving around. Where is he? Oh, there you are. Living Jashad. I think we can take this one. Oops, there are traps here. So we want to avoid the traps and we got floor traps and some exploding jar pots as well. Oh my goodness. Ho ho, these guys. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I don't seem to have enough time to dodge out of the way before I can get hit from the pots. Right, take a right. And these uh, root squirts spitting out poison. They won't move, they won't chase you, so.
Another uh, trap here. And there's another big guy here. Perhaps I can use the trap. There we go. Get the item. Get that. And we should be able to take this area here and jump down. that and whoa wow just in time and so we're in a familiar area another so it's just a lot of, uh, I think we need to go west, west, want to go west, oops, and here we are again, another floor trap here. Oh, good. Traps took care of those couple. That, that, and oh, moving along here, and another familiar area, but we know we are because this is a huge one right here. Another trap right here, so let's see. One more time. There we go. And we just need to go this way now. Drop down to this chute. To the next one. And here we are. So we should be making our way close to getting that lever on the lever it's not a up here so drop down oh my goodness I'll try to decide this 
Wes, okay. No, we were here already, so I need to go. Instead of west, I need to go north. I need to take the northern pathway. This Yeah, this should be it. Right, right there. And now we have access to this lift. And now the we have the boss door is open now. Heading north again. Let's see, yes. I can have a north. Use the elevator. Continue along here. See, I've already been here, so. And there it is, it's open. It's where we first got in. So, let's see here. I've been using my uh, electrifying armament. I think I want to use... Actually... Yeah, I'll use bleed this time. So I have dragon... Fire... Brat right there. Uh, and this time... Use the blood flame flame blade. And we're gonna get ready to take on the earth tree, the use the ulcerated earth tree. I got five health. We're gonna take this guy out. Uh oh.
Yeah, break. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have the Glowbird Pickle Belt Baron. And this is where we will bring it to a close right here, guys. And stay tuned because we're going to continue on into this area. But before we end it, we'll just end with the word of the day. The word of the day. A word of guidance and blessing. May the Lord guide you to become all that you may that you were created to be for his glory and to experience his peace and blessings amen if you enjoyed this channel continue to watch it remember to drop a like and subscribe stay tuned for more exciting adventure in Elden Ring